Do these contestants really think they can trust each other? We'll see about that after this next challenge. Are you new to Sand? Make sure to watch the whole game show series from the beginning. You wouldn't want to spoil this awesome story. Welcome to round 7 of Sand Season 2. Don't you think there's been too little chaos recently? Well, it's time to change things. Let's get to that next location. Welcome to the club. It was actually designed by Ice Cream D's and Butter. Anyways, for this challenge, you're all alone and need to form a group before you become a loser. In order to form one, you need to get everyone in the group you want to tell me the exact list of players they want in it. That means everybody needs to agree on the members and nobody can tell me the wrong information, accidentally or on purpose. If that happens, your precious group won't be formed and you'll be all alone. And if I catch you alone, I'll embarrass you in front of my audience and make you lose a life. If there's less than eight losers out there, I'll even embarrass the smallest group of players, making them lose a life too. Meanwhile, everybody that's safe will get a sand ally for each player in their group. However, there's one more sneaky twist. Any player in a group can secretly become an undercover spy to gain secret information. This will cause each player in their group to lose a life. Except if there ends up being multiple undercover spies, then all the spies will lose a life instead of the other players. So you better make sure you really trust who you're going to create a group with. But can you really trust that your allies aren't secretly targeting you? Let's see if they do. First, the crab cult decides they trust each other enough to create a group together, but do they really think nobody has the guts to become a spy? To avoid this, they decide not to include anyone who hasn't talked, which ends up just being War Bunny. Meanwhile, the Weebs Alliance is the same thing as the Colts, creating a group with their Alliance members. Omelette takes the side of the Weebs, not joining in on the Carib Colts group. Unexpectedly, Masrock asks Brayden if they can join their group in exchange for helping them with the Wake Up Challenge. Brayden says okay and invites them, so the Weebs have gained a new member. Other alliances like the Tomato Town, the Boys, and Azim's friends also decide to group up with just their allies, and trusting that they won't betray them. Meanwhile, Batadu privately asks Thunder if they can be in a group with them. Thunder says sure, but they want to include Amp too. Legendary wants to get in on the fun and asks Potato if they can join their group. Thunder then asks Amp if they can form a group with Potato. Amp decides to take this opportunity to deceive Thunder. Despite already grouping with the boys, they agree to join Thunder, knowing this will prevent their group from being formed. And last minute, as a last resort, Josh and Meme quickly agree to form a tiny group together. Even if it's just two people, they don't want to risk losing a life or being lonely. Warbunny also perks up at the last minute and requests to be added to the Crab Colts group. They let Warbunny in, of course. And looks like we're out of time. Did you notice any suspicious activity? Let's see what really happened. Well, I'm happy to tell you the Weebs, Tomato Town, the Boys, Azim's Friends, and Joshua and Meme's Last Stitch group all successfully formed without any betrayals. They all received sand allies and now their alliance's trust will grow even greater. Unfortunately, that is not the case with everyone. I'm sad to report that the Crab Colt was not formed. That's right. There's a hidden traitor that messed it all up. Now everyone in that alliance is all alone. And in case you forgot, Amp's betrayal of Thunder, Potato, and Legendary caused their group to fall to ruins as well. Not to mention all the players who had no friends to group with. I'm sorry, but I have to embarrass you losers. You all lose a life. And Gibb, Link, Nekaunik, Potato, Chicken, Legendary, and Zygopathy? You are all eliminated from Sand Season 2. Now go visit your friends in space. And just so you know, these players have zero idea why they suddenly lost a life. All they could do is speculate who betrayed them. So let's see it. Who could have possibly betrayed the Crab Cult? With the unofficial leader of the Crab Cult dead, the members are on a hunt for the spy that betrayed them. But this breaks apart the alliance. Devil suspects Max was lying all along. Max thinks it's Gibbed, since they've been quiet. Then they realize how quiet Squish has been. Everyone begins to suspect him, as it appears they didn't drop in the leaderboard when they should have if they lost a life. Privately, Squish tells me they think someone's framing them. So, do you really want to know what happened? Who the real traitor is? Well, Warbunny just accidentally included Amla in their list of players they wanted to form a group with. But once they realized it, it was too late. They told me, oh my god, I'm accidentally a villain, I I'm so sorry. Yet they refused to confess. 
Everyone in the cult starts to rally against Squish when War Bunny starts defending them, saying they should give them the benefit of the doubt. Max tells the public this challenge ruined their alliance and they know exactly who caused their giant group to lose so many lives. Privately, they tell Squish that this is their blackmail against them and they should be cautious. Squish then speaks up to defend themselves and gives out their target, Syncopathy. Devil then confesses that their target was War Bunny. Realizing this conflict of interest, Omelet then brings up that Devil betrayed them in the past so they might have done it here too. Squish then points the finger at John, accusing them of framing them. Meanwhile, John starts privately interviewing all the members of the Crab Cult to try and find the true story. They have faith in the Crab Cult and don't think anyone betrayed. However, the Crab Cult's trust in each other is now broken, and their goal of enacting the Crabocalypse is gone forever. <laughs> exactly what I wanted. And right as we're about to reach the target punishments. Oh, did you forget? After the next round, whoever hasn't eliminated their target will lose a life themselves. Let's see how our players plan for this punishment. The betas realize Brizzle and Max are only left with one life. Angel decides to buy a first aid kit to heal Max since their target is still alive. Despite all this chaos, the boys alliance is doing amazingly well with all of them having three lives and Amp being rich in sand dollars. But can they keep it that way? Especially with this next challenge? That's right, welcome to the arcade with a whack-a-mole game prepared by Chicken themselves. I know you all are worried about not having your target eliminated, so that's exactly what this challenge is for. Well, some of you already did eliminate your target, so you're gonna have to choose a new player to act as your target. You're all spending four days in this machine. Each day, you can either stick out your head or stay inside the machine. You will each receive a free special hammer you can use to whack your target. You can also pay two sand dollars to buy an extra hammer to whack any player of your choice, but you have to raise your head while doing so. If you manage to whack someone the same day they poke their head out, the head trauma will cause them to lose a life. And I'll reward you with sand dollars. By the way, you're not allowed to whack the same person twice in a row and you have to raise your head at least once. To motivate you guys to pop out your heads more, I'm gonna give you sand dollars each time you do. Now let's see how these players try to destroy their targets. First, Massark tells Max they were told to pick a target for the next challenge, so Max tells them to pick me, hoping Massark could possibly hit their target with that special hammer. John tells Max the same thing, and Max also tells them to pick me. They tell the Betos Alliance to all pick me too as a target, so they can all whack them for free. For the first three days, they agree to take turns whacking me with the special hammer. They also pay for an extra hammer to whack me on the fourth day, guaranteeing their demise. Meanwhile, in the Boys Alliance, Scythe tells Turtle to choose their target, John, as a target. They agree to all work together to whack John. They also come up with a plan to gather sand dollars to afford more first aid kits. They all choose to raise their heads for a whole three days, risking their lives. Pikachu and Brayden also come up with a plan to whack Pikachu's target Josh and Brayden's target Devlo by each buying three extra hammers and alternating which days they whack them. So, what really happened? Let's see. Who's gonna regret sticking their head up today? Well, unfortunately... Meme's head is whacked by Angel. Brandon whacks their target Omelet. Amp also successfully bonks their target Grondo. Unfortunately, their money-making schemes get them whacked by War Bunny. However, Sife's plan does work and they whack John successfully. Azim is whacked too, unexpectedly by Kyle, one of their allies. Bad news though, that means you all lose a life. I'm sorry, John, but you'll never repair the Crab Colts Alliance trust and you're eliminated from Sand Season 2. Don't be so eager to go to space yet though, we still have three more days to go through. This day, Kyle takes a hammer to Ruby's face just for fun. They don't have them as a target or anything, they're just out for blood. Also, Brayden and Pikachu's plan works as Pikachu deals the final blow to Devolo. There goes another crab as Devolo is eliminated from Sand Season 2. Huh, everybody's safe. Boring. Finally, Brayden deals the final blow to Josh's head, eliminating them from Sand Season 2. And you might notice Blue and JMO never came out of the machine. I explicitly stated, that's not allowed. You're all eliminated from Sand Season 2. All of you, go to space. Don't think we're done here. Some of you really sucked at eliminating your targets. I didn't give them to you for no reason, you know. You must be punished. Let's see who kept their target alive. Amp, Max, Brandon, Evan, Ruby, Thunder, Omelet, Kyle, and Grondo? How could you disappoint me like this? You all lose a life. You might think this is unfair, but the strong must survive in sand. I'm sorry, Evan, Ruby, 
Thunder, Omelette, Kyle, and Grondo, but you're all eliminated from sand as well. <laughs> wow, I've never caused so much life loss before in one episode. Every alliance has lost someone. This is great! Man, I wonder what it must feel like to be launched deep into space like that. What was that feeling? Oh no, am I gonna regret this? You better find out in the next episode what the heck is going on up there in space! Could it be? Are they still alive? Better watch that video to find out. Thanks Brizzle Max Facto and the Mighty Chicken for supporting my channel by hitting that join button. Bye!